this is my room up there <laughs> I can see it there on the end but you 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 don't know which one it is it's up there on the second floor now here's a mosque in the distance and here are the Taurus Mountains there's a lot of construction going on around here they're very pretty gardens uh, there are still bugs here. I saw a fly, a dragonfly, a moth. I heard crickets last night. Kind of exotic for me to hear all this in, in December. I've got a hand crank radio with me, solar powered with a flashlight, and it's kind of nice for listening to Turkish music. I've just been in the sea twice. I took a dip in the pool. It was a little bit cold, but I did it. You know, you have to shower after, before. Um, the open air is, I find, very healing. I have a, a beach towel from home for my shoulders. And um, I wasn't feeling very well last night. I was coughing a lot and my stomach was kind of upset. I am drinking the tap water here, but I'm using um, water purification tablets, which do need to sit for about 30 minutes before you drink the water. And it's good for a whole liter, but I can't get a big liter bottle here. Um, so I've, I'm, I just bought a half liter bottle. I'm square with the hotel and I asked them to explain some things to them, to me. I find, uh, I'm going to swing. I find that they, they are rather bullying here. Um, but you just have to keep a calm voice and address them politely and just say no, no. <laughs> so it was only four euros for my room service last night and my phone call back to Paris to leave a message for my spouse that I had arrived safely and given him the coordinates and to tell him that I'll call him again on Saturday it was only one euro and uh, they wanted ten euros for uh, the stuff I took from breakfast I really wasn't feeling very well enough to eat very much and I saw that a lot of people were taking stuff and it was kind of weird because the price was suddenly 15 euros and then they wanted 25 lira on top of that and I just said no. Uh, they actually did mention the gendarme. Um, I told them I wasn't feeling well yesterday. Um, I, I was very tired. I'm very tired. I've had a hard year, haven't we all? And uh, I just said, you know, thank you for explaining things. Now I'm squared up, and I will pay at the end of my stay. Um, I'm probably not going to go on any of the activities. I asked about possibly a guide tomorrow I'd like somebody to take me around for about an hour maybe two hours in the neighborhood and just take me to a grocery store perhaps um, I'll see about that with the with the concierge later I'm not really sure who the concierge is um, it's a little bit weird for a woman traveling in a Muslim country alone I suppose but I have a, a proper um, I have proper clothing to cover me I'm wearing um, a headscarf a decorative headscarf and um, I'm just trying to be like really polite and not aggressive to people and I did tell them that I'm a journalist though and I explained to them that uh, I'm, I'm going to be posting about them and writing about them and I, I've noted their names and I said look you know it would be a little bit sneaky of me uh, not to tell you that I put this stuff up on the internet and stuff um, and I'm giving you a chance now to respond to my complaints and questions please do so so I guess they have, but I I advise them that Mr. Ibrahim in the restaurant should not sh not shout at a woman in Turkish, especially when she has asked to be allowed to be seated, and um, he should not shout at her and the coworkers in Turkish and jump up and say in English, "I have no time." Um, they did say to me, you know, once I've signed the bill. Uh, I do have to pay that, and they're probably not under Anglo-Saxon law. I got it back down to 10 euros, and I've, I've got a, a good lunch uh, up in my room. Well, I don't think that's a bad price, really. I just won't take anything from the buffet. But I will have breakfast. Uh, it's a little bit hard for me. I, I can't eat very much for breakfast. I usually don't feel better until later in the morning. I'm on tramadol. But I suppose I can get there earlier and linger longer. I don't really like buffet situations. There's a lot of noise and clutter and clatter. Um, but in my room at night, I can look at Turkish TV, and I've got a radio here, which I've got to crank up again. And uh, I think I'll be okay.
Uh, we'll see. I'm going to a new place Saturday morning. I, I really don't know where. That's what happens when you take these package tours. You know, you take a chance. The ocean was not cold. It was fine. The swimming pool was cold. But the ocean was fine. Uh, not, not as salty as the Adriatic. And I was okay. And I've got a beach towel for my shoulders. And I feel way better. And, um, I don't know. It seems to be clouding up. I've heard the weather's going to turn. But I want to repeat, it was 24 degrees Celsius when I got here yesterday. Okay, it was, it was warm. In fact, I was hot. Uh, I was wearing snow boots from Paris and stuff. I was really overdressed. I had like four scarves on me and like five layers of clothes. I had to strip down and carry some stuff. But I'm surviving. Um, I must confess I was a little bit scared to be here alone and I miss my husband a lot. But if I had come with a friend, I might have found their presence rather annoying. And it was kind of uh, better. See, there's a bee over here on the flower. It was kind of better for, for me to be alone. And um, I brought a lot of paperwork to do and things to amuse me, uh, amuse myself. And um, uh, there's a lot of shopping here. They have like a little shopping mall downstairs. It really looks overpriced to me and I don't need anything. I did okay at the airport in Paris. I want to tell you there was no pat down or anything. I did have to pass through a screening thing and um, something beeped. I don't remember what it was. But uh, they, they gave me booties to wear in the airport in Paris, which they did not in New York. And I could have brought perfume and more makeup, you know. I mean, it doesn't seem that there was any problem. I remembered my prescription drugs um, were all together and unopened. And I had the pharmacy receipt, uh, the things right right next to them in a, in a little folder so that they could verify, you know, what I was bringing in and see that it was clearly for me. All right. So here I am alone in Turkey in Antalya.